what is the real cost of owning a mansion on Lake Norman? So for the sake of discussion, let's assume we're talking about an $8 million mansion. I know that sounds wild, but there's actually quite a few on Lake Norman. And the thing that might surprise you most is the mortgage. And in my experience as a closing attorney in this area, most of these homes don't have a mortgage. It is just in my experience, most of the houses being purchased for over $2 million in this area, the buyers are paying cash. So a good chunk of these homes do not have a mortgage. Now next, let's talk about homeowner's insurance. Now, if you don't have a mortgage, the, the, you don't have to have homeowner's insurance, though it is strongly, strongly, strongly recommended, especially at a home of this price point, it'd be catastrophic to anyone to have purchased a home, not owe anything on it, and then for it to be a total loss and not have any way to rebuild. So for that reason, homeowner's insurance is more expensive the more costly it is to rebuild your home. So an $8 million mansion, you could be looking at two to $4,000 per month, depending on the policy. You know, basic policies may not cover, you know, floods. You have to have a separate policy for flood insurance. A lot of people think that that might be included. It's not, talk to your insurance agent about that. But you could be looking at two to $4,000 a month on ins homeowner's insurance alone. Now taxes, this is a hot topic. Uh, let's say your house was assessed at $8 million. You could be paying $4,000 a month in taxes alone. Now, in Iredell County, you don't pay taxes on a monthly basis, but if you were to, to divide it out by 12 months, it'd be about $4,000 a month. But most likely, your tax value is below the market value of your home. Now, utilities, this is going to vary based on the lifestyle of whoever is occupying the home. So if this is a primary residence, it's being used you know, around the clock for the people that reside in there. An energy efficient mansion, potentially looking at $3,000 per month, it's really kind of only going up from there. Um, so we're kind of estimating on the low end here of how much your utilities are going to cost you in a house of this size. Now for home maintenance and repairs, if you look at conventional wisdom, a general rule of thumb is about 1% of the home's value per year for maintenance and repairs. So for an $8 million mansion, it's about $80,000 a year on um, anything from roof appliances, uh, painting, repairing walls, I mean, any sort of repairs just to keep the home up and in good repair about 1% of the home's value per year. Now, what about landscaping? Yes, this mansion is gonna probably have beautiful landscaping to go along with it. So gardening, lawn maintenance, think about snow removal for the winter months. You could be looking at $1,500 a month for that. Of course, these are all conservative estimates depending on the landscaping. It could be significantly more. You may have landscapers or people working on the landscaping most days of the week. All right, let's talk about everyone's favorite subject, the HOA. If you have a mansion, you are most likely in a community that has an HOA. The average around town um, or in Iredell County on the lake is about $300 per month. Of course, that could be a little bit more depending on the community, but you could expect to pay about that per month for HOA. Now this is not including boat storage. So boat storage um, for wet storage, you're looking at about $400 per month. If you have an $8 million house on Lake Norman, you are most likely on the water and you will have your boat at your own dock, but say you have more boats than you have places to put boats, then you'd be paying boat storage as well. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible, but from all the closings I've done of very expensive homes on the lake, I have yet to see one that didn't have a pool. So you're going to have to factor in pool maintenance as well. Now, if we're talking very basic maintenance, you can look at about $200 per month for that maintenance, but if you have any repairs or upgrades, of course, it will cost more. Now, what about security? If you have a home of this size, then most likely you have things inside the home that you wanna protect. So people, art, uh, jewelry, all kinds of stuff that you're wanting to make sure is kept safe. So security wise, depending on if you have staff on site keeping secure, you have a monitoring system, and if there's active monitoring, you could be looking at a couple hundred to a couple thousand per month. So it all depends on the type of security system, uh, whether it's all electronic or if you also have people on site to manage the security for you. Now in a mansion, there may be some unique interior features that require specialized care. So what about cleaning? We're talking about chandeliers, wine cellars, gyms, 
all sorts of things that make the mansion unique and uh, you want to make sure that it always stays clean and presentable for if you have guests or even just for your daily use for cleaning at least $1,500 a month, especially if it's a super large home. So that's not cheap. No surprises there. I don't think anybody's shocked that it's really expensive to keep a mansion running, but these are all things that you may not think about when you're driving by the house of just how much it costs to keep that house running on a monthly basis. All of this is not taking into account if you actually have staff on site for the home to carry out these tasks for you. So if you have someone that is cleaning your home every day, then you could have to pay a salary for staff. So that could be a home manager, um, if you have childcare staff in the home as well. All of this is not including staff. So if you're just thinking conservatively about what it would cost to have a mansion that's $8 million on Lake Norman, easily $15,000 a month, most likely it's gonna be a lot more than that, but we're trying to keep it you know, at the most basic. So just to keep the home running, keep it orderly, keep it in good repair, $15,000 a month on top of whatever it costs you to buy the home. There you have it. That is the real cost of owning a mansion on Lake Norman. Hopefully you learned some things or things that you weren't thinking about whenever you see these fancy homes, just what it costs to really keep them running. I will see you guys in the next video.